Welcome to video from DigiSlice.com. New Windows 11 build to look at. This is 23419 to Windows Insiders on the dev channel. This is the rebooted dev channel, so we're getting lower build numbers than we were previously. Those builds have been shifted to the new Canary channel. If you're not sure about what all the channels are, I do have a separate video on our YouTube channel showing you the, what the new Canary is all about. Okay, so what's new in this build? There's a couple of developer features and a couple of features that have actually made the way through from the Canary channel. Uh, this one, uh, the first one is live uh, memory dumps. So here you see that you've got the, uh, on the system one, they've got the new live kernel memory dump. This is for developers really to, um, for checking for uh, non-fatal high impact uh, crashes. Uh, Microsoft has a separate blog post about that. So, um, yeah, good for developers, and it puts it in local apps, Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows, Task Manager, Live Kernel Dumps fo folder. So there's also a setting there as well been added. Now, if you've got a USB 4 device plugged in, you'll see a new uh, option in settings. I haven't, uh, and on this virtual machine, I haven't got one plugged in, but it does allow you to, to look at the... Um, capabilities and the vendor ID and that kind of thing of the USB 4 device so I could see Microsoft and supporting like that so another change here is the recommended section is now called for you um, so I think it make it more perhaps more personal I don't know it's just a wording change but uh, you, know, you can see that that's been changed if you are running a VPN the network icon down here shows that you've got a VPN connected uh, when you're using that one if you've got a compatible one and um, there's a new seconds option. Let's have a look. So there you see a new seconds option. You put that in there and it shows you the seconds. Uh, I probably find that quite handy actually. So uh, it's good to see that. Another thing you've got there is if you've got the new chat in your Bing account, then you'll see that. But it's just a shortcut to, to Edge and opens the, the Bing chat. Um, some other things included are uh, improved voice access that was shown in build 23403 it's the in-app um, help page for voice access you can check that out on, on that build video if you're interested uh, the rest of things are fairly uh, uh, just fairly minor fixes if some issue is with um, booting up and reducing uh, or impacting performance of startup apps they fixed some issues with the search, which would crash from previous build. I haven't seen that one. They fixed some issues with Explorer EXE. Dragging uh, content to start menu would crash uh, the uh, start menu. Live captions w wasn't working um, with some languages, Chinese uh, on ARM64 devices, and they fixed an issue with tax, Task Manager and Performance page. There are still some known issues with this build. The uh, search on taskbar in the previous build it introduced a setting to uh, to you could pick whether you want this style of box or you want just the icon For some people that's not working obviously mine is fine um, but they're still working on that and there's some issues with live captions as well but that's it that's all the changes with build at 23419 this is a dev channel build so these aren't getting the same um, these aren't the same risk as if going on the canary channel which are much more potentially fragile builds but at the moment we're pretty much saying the same thing on both channels but anyway that's the, the latest dev build uh, you can find out more on the channel on the digitallifestyle.com